I'm Ellen Clark, he's Gandalf Clark, and we're the Clarks. We created Battalion 13 Entertainment with our friends because we wanted to have a good time together. We wanted to have a reason to get together on the weekends that wasn't just for, you know, drinking and, you know, messing around or just, you know, we used to get bored when we were younger and we just thought, hey, let's, let's create something together. Let's do something. Let's make something. And we decided to do that. About six years ago, we decided to make a hobby company, and we've been going, we've been doing this for about six years, and we got about 15 people who are well, actively let's, involved. Uh, let's, let, me, let, me, let me back this up a little bit. You and the others have been doing this for six years. I have been doing this since I was 15 years old, yeah. creating this and yeah. working on this universe. And and uh, I've been I've been creating this universe since I was 15 years old, back with my old buddy Chris Davis, and we used to talk about like different dimensions, and I wanted to make stories out of it, and uh, you know he he was a decent writer too, so we used to kind of collaborate a little bit, but uh, now it's now it's my baby. Yeah, we just decided that we wanted to work with our friends and. We did create a game at one point um, that we're still working on, and at some point we will be bringing that to you. It all started this one night with the bacon tournament. We started yeah. creating it. I had gone to a G.I. Joe convention, and I wanted to play with the exclusives she went by herself. and I had everything. To stay home. It's really messed up because <laughs> I was really into G.I. Joe, and she went by herself. We went to Loveland, Colorado. <laughs> it was our first G.I. Joe convention. Yeah, this was our first convention. We had so much fun. We met so many amazing people. I met the word burglar, guys. If you don't know who he is, look him up. His music is the bomb. We All will right, link he, he him a, in the um, He's a Canadian rap artist. Description. And he is, like, my favorite rap artist uh, of all time. Uh, he did a whole album about G.I. Joe called Welcome to Cobra Island. Uh, he's done all kinds of stuff having to do with comics and Star Wars. And and it's all, it's all really fun stuff. Um, and he has a whole crew, back burn, the Backburner crew. And they do all kinds of awesome yeah. collaborations and stuff. And really good. DM really good us stuff. and uh, so many other people. Uh, who, who are some of the ones that work with him? I can't think of it just um, now. Um, yeah, Chocules. Chocules, yeah. Um. There's a lot of good songs. Oh my god, there's so much good stuff. Yeah. S.J. The Word Burglar. Yeah, really good stuff. Um, so we had a great time, and I actually made this game, um, where we spent the entire day... Uh, doing this tournament, there were different types of activities involved where the G.I. Joes um, had to get these different pieces to the mass device and the Transformers had to get like certain, there were certain pieces of the Transformers. There's like this whole backstory and everything. I think what we should do, I think what we should do is we need to have a game team meeting and we need to record it, and then we can show you guys what this game is, because it's really fun. Um, and someday we would like to just give you guys access to it, just teach you guys how to play it, because, you know, we can't license it or anything. Um, it's just something fun that we did, and we just divided it into two teams. Um, we do have a video um, on our channel where we played a game like it's just a quick game uh, where we laid the cards out and we had a contest to give away a figure. Um, so I can link that Seriously? video in here. Is that... Um, it's dead too. Dead too? Oh. And I don't have another charger. So, so 
Yeah, that's that's what, why we started the company, and then um, Gandalf's nephew said, "Why don't you guys do a podcast story about the characters that you're going to write the game about?" Um, because we decided to use Gandalf's Battalion Thirteen. Um, ideas that he wrote about when he was younger uh, to make our own game using similar concepts. Not any of the G.I. Joe or Transformers, but basically the game mechanics that I came up with. And the tournament style, the tournament ideas, because the fun part of it was, you know, playing with your figures and being able to, you know, you could use any three and three quarter inch, fi inch figures or any other type of transformers or whatever to play the game that we came up with. Um, well, pretty much that I came up with and then Gandalf helped me out with it. Um, I kept asking him a lot of questions about, you know, certain aspects and then he helped me with getting all the vehicles and all of the things um, set up with that. Uh, so, yeah, we... And then we decided to write the story of the Immortal, which is based on the Battalion 13, the podcast. Um, and there are 11 episodes out on our channel. And it's the story, a coming of age story for Darian Kane and his friends. Um, so you can listen to that right on our webpage. You can listen to it on our YouTube channel. Um, also on any podcast app. Right. We're talking about making it just a YouTube series, though, and putting some visuals to it, making it more like um, like a visual film type situation, making it more special. Um, because when the book comes out, um, then people will have this other thing that they can look at and say, oh, this is what the story used to be like. So we thought that might be fun. Um, to change it a little bit and show you guys where the story came from. And of course we'll have the audiobook which is going to be, you know, the same as the book but different than the podcast. And then we have, you know, all other stories that are coming out, short stories and The Orphan which is a prequel based on the universe, the Battalion 13 universe. We have an anthology, a Christmas anthology coming out, and we also have short stories coming out, um, short stories of hope. Um, we're hoping that these will all launch um, before the holidays so that if people want to get them as gifts for the holidays, they'll be available. Um, but that is our background. That is our story. We've got something to share. We're really proud of our product and are excited to make it available on our website. Check it out now.